we're going to take a look at light linking and light editing here in LOPS and Solaris. I have a very simple scene set up. It's three pigs and three lights. We have a red light on the left, green light up top, and a blue light on the right. So we'll start with light linking. And with light linking, what the purpose is, is to limit the effects of specific lights to specific objects in the scene. There are a bunch of reasons why you might want to break reality. Um, sometimes it's just a bit cleaner or easier than setting up blocking geometry, or sometimes you're just making a creative call there. We'll go ahead and we'll set something up here where we stop the red light from spilling over into pig number two. We'll start by putting our Karma render on so we see what our baseline is here. And we will go and use the light linker lop. We'll just put that right in there. And we get a list of our lights. So to set up a rule for our red light, we just drag the red light into our rule section. And we see we have two rows here. We have an inclusion list and an exclusion list. Since all we want to do is exclude pig number two from red light's contribution, we should just use the exclusion here. So we'll find pig number two and just drag it right in there. And now we see the red light doesn't affect pig number two. If we wanted to add pig three to that list, we just grab pig three and drop it in there as well. To put pig three back into the red lights affected objects here, we just click there. We can select pig number three and choose remove and then accept. And now we see the red light showing up. Let's take a look at the inclusion tab. I'm going to grab the blue light and set up a rule for our blue light. Here, what we'll do is say the blue light may only affect pig number three. So this is probably easier to do with an inclusion. So I'm going to grab pig three, drop it in here, and we'll see now that pig three is the only object that's affected by that blue light. So we will disable this and we will look at the light mixer. So the light mixer is a way to tweak the lights in your scene as you're getting near a final setup here. We can toggle the lights down, and if we're on the sliders tab here, just select the lights we're interested in, drag them over into the sliders. And now we have a nice GUI here that we can use to start adjusting lights. So you can see I'm adjusting my blue light here, bringing the exposure down, and even going in here and deciding, you know, that light actually should have been a bit more of this greenish color. So making these nice little tweaks. If you don't like the tweak you've made, you can always right click and choose to revert to default. And if you find that the ranges aren't working for you, you can click over here and change your ranges of the slider, as well as manually entering a value. You can mute or disable your lights, as well as soloing a light. I find the soloing to be really useful because then you can tweak lights individually, make sure that everything is exactly how you want it. Let's go to the red light here. Maybe that's burning out a little bit too much. We'll bring that down to stop somewhere around there. And then when you're done, just bring it right back. If you go into the attributes tab, you have the same controls. You just need to click and then you'll get options there to change. I'm going to right click and revert that to default. One thing you'll notice is that the settings that have been changed have a nice little red tick here. So it's easy to see what's been adjusted by this node. After the light mixer, you also can edit lights with a light edit lop. So you put that down and then you drag the light in that you're interested in. I'm going to edit my red light here. And what I would like to do is set a color on that. And I'm going to say now that instead of it being red, I would like this to be this color blue here. And I would like to change the exposure as well.
So there you go, a few different ways that you can edit lights that are already in your scene or tweak and refine them to get the look that you're after.